Collaborate Corporation owns and operates peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces leveraging off proprietary technology and extensive industry partnerships. Its Drive My Car is Australia's first and largest peer-to-peer -peer car rental platform and has been going for more than a decade. More recently, Collaborate Corporation launched car subscription service Carly, which has opened the way for Australia's existing $55 billion per annum auto industry to derive a new source of revenue from their vehicles. Joining me to discuss more is CEO Chris Noon. Chris, welcome to TCN TV. Great to be here. Now, Collaborate's flexible car subscription service Carly started up in March last year. Can you explain how it differs from the Drive My Car peer-to-peer -peer car rental platform that the company has offered for more than a decade now? So we've uh, launched car subscription because we think it meets a real need in the market. It fits in between car rental and is an alternative to people buying cars outright or taking finance or loans for those vehicles. So it's a 30-day minimum term and 30 days notice to terminate the subscription. And it gives people um, choice of any type of car that they want under that subscription. Okay, now the Carly Car subscription product has been operating for just 18 months, but already accounts for around 60% of Collaborate's revenue base. Why has the client take up been so strong? We think the subscription proposition is really resonating right across the whole market. So people are subscribing to movies, to their telephones, to food, to razors, to fashion. Subscription really makes sense. And we think it really meets a need in the market, especially during the, the COVID pandemic where people are trying to de-risk their personal finances. Subscription is a great way to get the car that you want but also with the option to pause the subscription if your circumstances change. Absolutely. Now, Carly has already formed strategic alliances with some automotive manufacturers, car dealerships and fleet management companies. Why are these groups seeing Carly as a growth opportunity rather than a competitor? So these companies have very large customer bases at the moment. They're very successful under their own business model but they see that in the future, customers, both consumers and businesses, will want more flexible access to cars. And that's what subscription represents. It's not a four year or, or longer commitment to a vehicle. It's a minimum 30 day commitment. And they see that a lot of their customers are looking for that type of flexibility because it suits their lifestyle or their business needs. Okay, now Chris, the, the new and used car sales market in Australia is valued at around $55 billion per annum. What share of this market could Carly realistically take in the next year or two? And what do you think will be the split between a consumer and business clients? We see that business will certainly um, expand. Uh, at the moment, it's a small proportion of our revenue. We have the relationship with our second largest shareholder, SG Fleet, which is providing us with referrals to their business and government customers. And we're also bringing on our own internal resource to access that business market. In terms of size of the market, Frost and Sullivan in the US and Europe have forecast that by 25, 26, subscription should represent 10% of new car sales. Our own research that we've commissioned with Omnipol shows that 38% of Australians are interested in subscription for their next vehicle. So we see that subscription is growing from a low base, but we think it will grow very rapidly given the sort of um, feeling we're getting from the market. Okay, and Chris, since April, Australia's economic performance has been really dominated by COVID-19, yet Carly increased revenue over this period with reduced activity. What underwrote the Carly uh, products resilience despite the pandemic's economic drag? I think people were fearful of their employment prospects, of the, the, the economy, a looming recession, and people sought to de-risk their finances. So people still need cars, even during a recession, even when they're unemployed, they may still need a car. And subscription is an option to get the car that you need without taking a loan, without uh, committing to an outright purchase of a vehicle. So if circumstances change, you can terminate the subscription or you can change to a cheaper car. 
if the economy improves, you can change to a more expensive car or, or one that's, that's larger or more suitable for your needs. So what people are looking for is low risk and flexibility, and that's exactly what we provide. Okay, and Carly has secured a product ruling from the Australian Taxation Office that provides certainty of tax deductibility on car subscription payments for business or work purposes. Is this tax benefit still attractive in the face of the accelerated asset write-offs now? Uh, also available to business enterprises? Yes, certainly. They really go hand in hand. So we're the only comp car subscription company that has an ATO product ruling. So we're the only company that can provide certainty of the tax deductibility and also the treatment for fringe benefits tax as well. So we have info this product ruling provides lots of detailed information for accountants and financial advisors to work with their clients to see how subscription can provide some really good benefits for them. Now a car subscription system relies heavily on knowing whether a prospective user will pay their bill. How has Collaborate Corporation's PeerPass platform delivered lower year-on-year -year claims loss ratios than most traditional rental companies? So because we've been operating for a few years in an adjacent market, we've had the opportunity to develop our own verification platform called PeerPass. This is a mix of best of breed third party services and our own technology as well. So we're able to verify customers online seamlessly um, without any um, slowdown in the subscription process. And we're very effective at doing that as well. So we're able to determine customers that we don't think will be able to pay for this subscription or may not look after the vehicle. We don't proceed with a subscription with those customers. Therefore, the customer base that we have is um, paying on time and is also looking after the vehicles, which improves our bottom line. Carly intends to leverage off its Hyundai subscription in Australia and Turner's subscription in New Zealand to pursue platform licensing opportunities with um, companies and new market entrants. Why have only a few car companies and dealers come on board at this stage? Well, it's, it's the subscription market's only very new. We launched into it in 2019. Uh, yesterday, uh, we announced a deal with Genesis, the luxury car brand, as another car manufacturer that's joined us to offer vehicles for subscription. So over the, the last few months, through a mixture of manufacturers, dealers, and also fleet management companies, we've pretty much had vehicles from all of the top 20 manufacturers in Australia. So we're, we're fairly rapidly moving to encompass most of the, the major brands within the market. And sometimes it takes these companies time, but there are a lot of good discussions happening in the background. There are also other entrants that are looking to get into this market that traditionally haven't been in the automotive market. And we're talking to them about help assisting them to access the opportunities within the car subscription market. And finally, Chris, some time ago, Collaborate unveiled a 60% underwritten non-renounceable entitlement issue that could raise up to 3.46 million Australian dollars. Can you outline where this additional capital will be directed? We operate on a capital light business model. So we don't need to apply our funding to purchasing vehicles. We leverage the vehicles from, uh, from manufacturers, dealers, and also corporate fleets. So all of the funds raised go into technology development, marketing, and also staff costs. We're quite lean on the staff. We have 15 people within Australia and a call center and some technology development in the, in the Philippines for a total of 20 people. Uh, so we keep the staff level quite lean. So most of our funding will go towards marketing and technology which will drive the growth of the business. Well, Chris, thank you for the update and all the best for Collaborate in the future. Thanks very much. And thank you for watching. Now, if you like what you see, please be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to TCN TV and drop us a comment. Tell us who you would like to see next and what you would like me to ask them. Or if you're an investor, send us an email so we can keep you in the loop with the latest ideas to empower.